Uh, hello, welcome to the HUD introduction of the breakthrough program for Hint Note. I'm going to explain you a meaning of HUD stats and uh, also I will show you the pop-ups that are connected with the HUD. So let's start. Uh, first, we see a player name. Uh, when we click here, uh, it will open preflop pop-up where we, where we have some preflop informations. Uh, then we have a number of hands. When we click uh, on it, we will open multi-way pop-up. Here we have all information about uh, how a player play in uh, multi-way pots. Next, we have a deep pop-up. Uh, deep pop-up uh, will explain uh, and give you information how player play in tribute pots deep 150 blinds plus how they play as a tributor and a c as a caller of the tribute. Uh, the meaning uh, of the stats are uh, VPIP, preflop, PFR, uh, fold versus tribute out of position and fold versus tribute in position. Uh, next pop-up on a PFR will be a 4-bit pop-up. Here we have information about the 4-bit pots as a 4-bitter and as a caller of the 4-bit uh, and post-op information how they play in a 4-bit pots. Uh, next will be a call, uh, call tribute out of position pop-up. Here we have a general information about the range, which range they use from uh, all positions, out of position, and how they play post-loop. We have the same for in position uh, called tribute. Pretty much the same pop-up with informations that are related to the in position caller of a tribute. Uh, this uh, row uh, means opening uh, ranges from uh, UTG, middle position, cutoff, button, and small blind. When you hover over it, you will see an uh, opening range for that uh, a player from uh, that position. Uh, next here will be, this is small blind opening raise, and when you click next to a small blind, it will open a small blind versus big blind pop-up. Here you have uh, isolated small blind versus big blind in single raise pots and in tribute and four bit pots. So we have all the information to see how a player plays small blind versus big blind. And then uh, uh, next to it is the orbit pop up. Uh, or in orbit pop up, you'll have uh, all information about orbiting strategy that your opponent is using as a or better on the turn on the river and uh, in position also and uh, how he play when he is a caller how he play against an or better out of position on the turn on the river and same as in position uh, next row is a seabed row uh, we have seabed out of position double barrel out of position and triple barrel out of position Next to it is CBIT in position, double barrel in position, and triple barrel in position. When you click on the number, it will open uh, out of position single raise pot uh, pop up where you will have information how the player plays a single raised uh, pot as a PFR out of position, their CBIT strategies, their checking range, delay strategies, and stuff like that. It will be also, also uh, the same when you click here. It will open only in position a single raise pot as a PFR pop up where you, where, where you will have the same information uh, only when the player is uh, in position. So their entire strategy of C bet on certain boards, uh, their folding versus check raise, call check raise range, and stuff like that. Uh, next row will be no bet uh, row. That means uh, a playing uh, PFR out of position when he's not uh, seabetting the, the flop. So when we click here, it will open a small pop-up uh, where we can see uh, how this opponent play when he is uh, checking the flop out of position as P PFR. We can see his uh, check fold, check raise, check call, so we'll know exactly his range in every spot. We'll know how he play 
uh, delay game, uh, how he, he bets uh, uh, the river with uh, after delaying, and also we have that for a uh, single race pot and also for the tribut pots. Uh, this means uh, check, 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 fold. Uh, I put it in the HUD because just from looking into the stats of a player, you can have an idea about his range. And I think it's really important, especially out of position, to know uh, the strength of their checking range. So if you, from the HUD, you can immediately attack uh, their weaknesses. If a lot of player has a poor check range of the position so just looking at the HUD you will know that and clicking on the pop-up you can confirm uh, and see their entire leaks. Uh, then uh, this means check 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 fold uh, when you click it will open a pop-up that will also explain uh, how he played that part of, of the range this is check 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 fold uh, we see a number we can see how much uh, he uh, calls in that spot how much he check raises and also for tribut pots uh, and this is check 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 fold when uh, the player out of position is checking three times how much he's folding and you see when the green number it, it indicates that it's higher than it should be and just looking at the HUD you, you can make some uh, exploits uh, and you can see the strength uh, of the checking range in all of the three uh, flop turn and the river we have that for out of position, we have the same for mean position, this is fold versus donk and uh, here we have a, a check fold in position and when we click uh, on it we will, we will get the pop-up that explains uh, that situation and then we can also see how he plays uh, which hands he's calling when he's uh, checking uh, behind uh, on the flop with the razor uh, what he's raising and how he plays river and also for trivet pots and single race pots. Uh, so you basically immediately see the strength of his checking range in position, his folding, this player is folding only 44% in position and when you click on it you will have a detailed information about it and this is when the flop and turn goes check check in position, the player is falling to a river, to a river step 66% of the time. Uh, next row is versus the Sibet this is fold versus Tibet out of position, fold versus double barrel and triple barrel out of position. And next to it is uh, fold versus Tibet in position versus double barrel and triple barrel in position. When we click on it, it will open out of position caller, uh, uh, caller pop-up in a single race spot where you will see uh, how they play uh, as a caller from blinds, uh, their uh, call strategy, check raise strategies, how much they fold, how much they fold against you, or what are they stabbing, and stuff like that. And you can generally see uh, how they play uh, on blinds uh, versus in position. We have that same for the in position, so it's the in position caller in the single race spots. Um, also all information uh, uh, with with the ranges from all positions. Uh, next row is a stab row. Uh, all of this first three is uh, meant for out of position, flop, turn and river, and uh, uh, right side is in position. So uh, when the player is out of position and he's uh, stabbing a flop, that means he's donking the flop. And here when we click, we'll see uh, donk pop-up. Uh, usually the regs will have really low or not at all number here because they will not uh, donk a flop on almost any board because uh, they are not equity favorites on mm, almost any board so they just can't have a stronger range than in position so they can't donk but it will be useful for a fish to see their tendencies with which hands are they donking, how they play turn and river. And here also you have a turn and the river donk. Turn will be really useful uh, because turn uh, Rex will donk on the turn when the turn hits their range uh, hard and you want to see uh, their tendencies in that spot. Same is for in position, this is step flop in position pop-up. 
where you will have all information about bet versus missed C bets, how he played against the check raise in that spot, how much he bets and uh, step swaps and bet turn and bet river also, also for a single raise spot and three bet pots. Uh, next pop up, next uh, la next row is the versus delay C bet. So only from HUD you will be able to uh, know uh, about tendencies of your opponents when are they when they are facing delay C bets. Uh, this is important because a lot of players defend really poorly against delay bets, and you want to know that that type of a player you can then uh, lower your C bet with bluffs on the flop with your worst bluffs because you can just profit will bluff them as a delay so this number will indicate fold versus delay bet and when you click over it it will open a pop-up that will uh, tell you all about uh, how he play uh, delay against the delay which hands he's calling a delay with and uh, also how he plays river against also and also for retrieved pots uh, next number indicates a call delay, a fold turn, call delay fold river, I apologize, and uh, next is check, 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 fold uh, out of position. Uh, next we have uh, in position, same start, fold versus delay in position, call delay fold river, and check, 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 fold starts. So immediately for stats, you can, uh, you, you could adjust your strategies because uh, this player, especially on lower limits and mid stakes, will be uh, for many players high and you can take advantage of it. Uh, on the right side, uh, we have um, a big blind versus small blind. Uh, it indicates a tribute pots uh, from the left side. If you click big blind versus small blind, uh, it will open a big blind versus small blind pop up uh, where you can see a tribute range. Uh, and all information with it. You can also see in a tribut pot how he plays big blind versus small blind. But generally, just hover over it, you will see a strategy uh, of a tribut. Uh, green line, uh, green color is the aggressive line, and it means in this spot tributing big blind versus small blind. And the blue line, uh, blue color is a passive line, and it indicates calling range big blind versus small blind. So only on hovering or over uh, the number, you will know. Uh, which hands they are tributing with, you see the percentage of 18% and you can also see the hands to see if he's using linear strategy uh, of a tribute or maybe polarization and you will see uh, a, a correlation between the hands if he's using a mixed strategy and you will basically know the range. We have same for big blind versus button or cutoff uh, and big blind versus early and middle position. When you hover on the right side that means a call range in this position so uh, this player will call uh, big blind versus small blind 49% uh, of the hands and he will attribute 18% of the hands so when you go over here it will be a complete range of uh, big blind versus small blind divided on the green color that indicates a tribute range and blue color will be a call range so we will immediately know entire range of a big blind versus small blind and this is also for all positions. This is big blind versus button or cutoff and big blind versus early or middle position. Uh, then we have a small blind versus button or cutoff. And when you hover over it, you'll see a range again. If you op if you click on it, it will open out of position tributor pop-up where you can see their strategy for that spots, positions, e and uh, everything you need to know post-slope. Uh, the same is for small blind versus early or middle position. On the uh, right side, it's a calling range, and most players, uh, most good players, play just only tribute or fold strategy for uh, every position except the button. Here we have uh, then in position versus cutoff. That means button versus cutoff, uh, tribute range, uh, call range, and in position versus early middle position, tribute range, and a call range. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the bet system. Uh, batch, batch, we have 30 bets. Uh, they are divided into the preflop one. It is a uh, uh, yellow color. 
this badge are made for pre-block play for example uh, squeeze strong badge squeeze weak badge squeeze fold badge and call and re-steals with the ace king uh, next color is a flop uh, green color it indicates the badge that are meant for a flop uh, blue one uh, means badge that are meant for the turn if we have a number three in front of the badge it indicates that it is for the tribute pots and the red color indicates uh, that is the river uh, badge uh, what uh, uh, I wanted to say about the badge uh, badge will indicate uh, that you need to pay attention or something if player has a significant leak the badge will appear or if player is doing something that you uh, want to be careful about for example you are playing against this player and you see a badge check raise and raise in position uh, it is a green color and it indicates that it's badge for a flop and you see this uh, badge you automatically want to be careful because that means that this player is check raising a lot and he's raising a lot in position so you will adjust your seabed strategies uh, when you click on a badge it will open a pop-up in this pop-up you can see uh, what the badge is about so it indicates the player is uh, check raising a lot so this player is check raising 14% uh, if you go here you will immediately see his range with which hands he's check raising with and here you have a context of the hand to see how he played it after the flop and also this uh, we have a badge raise in position and we see that this player is also raising a lot in position uh, basically, whenever you see a badge, you always uh, check it out so you can uh, uh, adjust your strategy. Uh, I'll show you, for example, uh, one uh, a more uh, type of the badge. Let's go here for, for example, uh, on the river badge uh, uh, versus raise a week. So this player when you uh, raise him we'll call a raise this week so we see that bet call river is pretty high and when we click here we will see that this player bet call the river with like low pairs middle pairs and weak top pairs so this player will want to fall to a raise uh, a lot and he will call raises with weak hands and that is uh, what this badge will uh, warn you about i recommend that uh, always when you're playing against some opponents check what the badge mean uh, check the badge to see informations and then uh, adjust your strategy because it is something that can be significant uh, thank you for watching and now you can see uh, the other pop-ups of the game into a little more details and check it out and thank you very much